So this month, it's almost two days, Monday and Tuesday, and the month is over. October is gone. So what I say, because the month of October, we were looking on Euro CHF. I don't want to leave you guys hanging, not knowing what really happened to Euro CHF. It was a monthly signal. It was a monthly entry. So I could not keep on saying Euro CHF, Euro CHF. Why? Because the entry was from monthly. So this is just Euro CHF update. And what I want to tell you in advance, if we see this by Tuesday, this is what you should do. So... The, um, the Euro CHF, the reason why we entered this trade, the reason for entering this trade was this double bottom. Can you see that double bottom? And this double bottom has had been activated by this. Uh, there are three candles here, one, two, three. So when I, you remember what I've said in the previous video about one candle ranging pattern. If you have not watched lesson 51, guys, you have to go and watch that lesson. It's a whole one hour of information. I have really told you about one candle ranging pattern. And what I am seeing here is that this double bottom head RBS. So the fact that uh, the double bottom head RBS and it was screaming everything like this market will buy up to, uh, up to the 97.49. But what we got, from what I am, from the, the the entry we got and from the trade we have been holding, for me, like I've been holding Euro CHF um, and I have added positions down here. So it's a trade I'm holding. Yes, the entry was a mistake because there was a double. I will show you what we could have done better. So because I'm still holding this trade, I want now to look for an exit point because on Tuesday, month is done and uh the market only give us one one month for us to know if it is for us for us or against us so if you have not entered euro chf for me i'm not saying you enter but for me i'm still hoping that is a buy and it will buy up to this direction like that is the overall direction of euro chf so from where it is it's supposed to buy how many pips 250 pips so that is something that I'm hoping, but I have an exit plan. This time, because it's a monthly time frame, I don't exit before monthly time frame elapses. That's what I'm saying on Tuesday, because Tuesday is 31st. On Tuesday, when the candle is closing, the monthly candle, the only thing I don't want to see for me, because if I see it, I will cancel my position and forget about it. Uh, you, you can understand that, yes, it, this is a double bottom, let me first uh, label it. This is a double bottom. You can see a possible double bottom because it has not broken half. And then this is my neckline. This is my neckline. And then and then I have my half. So we are hoping that the market will do what? Will come to the half. That is what the strategy says. If you have a double bottom that has RBS, the market should come to half. But we have seen for a whole month this market, immediately the candle closed, it has gone down with 246 pips. So the 246 pips, I know many people have closed to the position. I know if you didn't enter on top here, as we didn't enter on top here, we entered in the middle. Uh, so we have a drawdown of a hundred and something pips. If you have not entered, of course, you are not like you don't have drawdown like us. But someone who entered immediately, they have a, a drawdown of 246 pips. Now, we know that the market will come here. There's some, the only thing I don't want to see in this uh, in this chart come on Tuesday midnight by the i'll be here even i have put my alarm on tuesday midnight and i also want you to put a, an alarm to alert me on my whatsapp those who have my whatsapp number you can alert me or you can come back to this video and tell me we don't want this one candle ranging to break so we don't want if the candle closes like this guys we're in trouble this market will sell so the only thing that will make me exit because what happens if the market closes like this, the next candle will fill the week and it will be coming to break here. And you know, 
with that double bottom, we can have a cup and handle. So it doesn't mean because you have a double bottom is the end of it. We can still have a cup and handle. So the market might, yes, this is the, this is the cup and the handle was the ranging. So they can use this to give us a cup and handle and the market can go down. So that alone, it's making me be anxious on how Tuesday candle will close because I don't want to be, this market can continue to sell. So all I'm saying is that we have to have an exit point. For me, I don't know why I also, but there I would want an exit point because holding another another month, um, I'm, I feel already exhausted, but that is what it is for you to learn a structure. For me, if I get an option to exit, if the structure tells me to exit, but there I'm not even praying at the, oh, let it not to break. For me, I'm just settled. If it breaks, I'll just cancel my trade and just watch it from a distance because I don't want again to in, get involved in such a trade. I'll just look, look at it from afar, not trading it. So that's the reason why I'm saying, if that support, this one candle, these are one candle. How many candles are these? This is one, two, three. The fourth candle, if it breaks that range in guys, we're in trouble. So I want to mark this area. The market should, I even will put a padlock, like I will lock it. So I don't want the market, the market should close above 95.14. So it is you have given you assignment. You have two more days. We have today and Monday. On Tuesday, we are coming, all of us, we are coming to check on Euro CHF if it has broken. If it has broken, stay away from Euro CHF. Don't trade it. And most of the time it can break and the next candle can come and hit here. But it won't be um for for us, it will be an exit point. So yes, you will feel bad, but you'll have protected your your capital because it can break like this and continue. Chances are it can break like this and still go up. So we will agree if we cancel this trade, we won't keep saying, I wish, I wish, no. If we cancel, we cancel. But if the candle closes above it, we still hold it to the TP. So on Tuesday, that's when I'm coming back. Uh, I think that video will, will go live on Wednesday because I have to wait on Tuesday at the midnight so that on Wednesday next week, I should give you an update. So Euro CHF, the, the mistake we did with this chart and I keep telling you, when the candle closed, immediately this candle closed, let's remove that, immediately this candle closed, this was our pattern one. So our failure to know that this was our pattern one, because these things, I the Holy Spirit keep inspiring and showing me the failure to know that was pattern one, on the weekly time frame, we had even resistance break. For me, I saw uh, the market is buying. We have resistance break. The failure to see pattern two, the pattern two is what caused everything. So pattern two was very, very clear. Can you see the pattern two was a double top that was very clear and it had a one candle ranging. Guys, again, like uh, what I will talk about in the next videos, you will hear me saying one candle ranging. When you hear me say one candle ranging already, you know what I mean. So we had that double top. This is the only double top that we could not, um, that blinded us. If at all we, we spotted it in advance, we could not be where we are. So that's a double top. And this double top, we already know if it breaks, if the double tops breaks the neckline, it is going this direction. It is going which direction? This direction. So, and if a double top is going this direction, our guaranteed take profit is always half. Don't be smart to try to get up to the TP4. Always target TP3. So that's our guaranteed take profit. So that, that was so clear even in the beginning very clear, but you see, uh, you know, we learn, we learn, we learn. <laughs> you know, CHF Bede has taught me a lot of things and I'm ready to apply it next month. Next month, we shall do better. The trades that we will choose next month, they should speak so much. So we had one candle. If we can spot here, this is a one candle ranging. And I've told you, one candle ranging, the direction it breaks, it's a, it's a, it's a done deal. So the one candle ranging here, this was the, this was the breaking point. 
So they will have red, red, green. So if the market breaks again, that it is an entry. And what do we get? We get the green candle. And then the market gives us what? A one candle ranging. Can you see? Can you see this market was, was doing that? Uh, so it was not good to enter here. Why? Because if this market had broke either of these, because it would have given us, and one candle ranging has helped me to know how to trade uh, a cup and handle because this was even for me that the reason why I was still on a buy because I thought this can be a cup and handle. So I was so sure because of the monthly we have, we have a double bottom now on the daily. It's not that I didn't see the double top. For me, I took the double top having we didn't have RBS. I took the double top as a cup and handle and I knew it will come to this direction. You see now how sometimes you create things in your mind. So I knew, oh, we are going to that direction and going half of that direction, at least it will have hit my half. It would have been an easy trade. And that was what I wanted. Not knowing that again, the market had come here and placed a what? A one candle. One candle, guys. One candle ranging, meaning the direction that this market will break, it will go that distance nonstop. So I, it was like a sure bet. If this market break out of that one candle, the market is still proceeding. Can you see? So as we are waiting, the market gave us a break. And this break was very big because it was like a gap. And the market did like it said, it completed. Can you see? Again, guys, we got our one candle. So I think they were not sure what they want to do. This trade, they were not sure. Do, they, do we want to keep it selling? So many people kept buying. And I think that's why they used the one candle. So if you see market having one candle, I would rather not trade. Now I know better. You see, they have given us a one candle. One candle meaning if the market has broke, because if it could have broke above, that trade would have gotten a uh, go above. Again, what direction did the market break? What did the direction the market broke? It broke there. Note, it broke the one candle, broke the neckline. Where is it coming? It's coming to the half, and that's what the market did. So from, from tapping to the half, we have not seen this market uh, doing anything else. So it tapped to the half, and this market will now proceed. So like I've told you guys, that was the only reason one candle pattern not paying attention. So I have told you, Euro CHF, if you want to help me to be able to understand what will happen come next month, I do not want to see. We have a double bottom and I have said, I don't want to see that market breaking. We don't want to we don't want the market breaking 95.15. If it breaks there, if it closes like that, we are done, guys. We close the trade and that trade. We cannot risk this trade we are done with it so if it closes like that we are done thank you so much guys for watching i hope you will be true to the assignment come on tuesday on wednesday morning start texting me tell me it has broke make sure you put your alarm so that we don't forget these are things that people forget and they start a new month with something like already this is a red flag if it closes like this is a red flag thank you so much for watching all the best see you in the next video bye bye love you